Hi, it's Neha Nagandhi, and I'm your host. Today, we're at SCAD, a TV festival happening right here in Atlanta, Georgia. This is its seventh year going on, and this year, Entertainment Weekly is its official media partner. With that, they're hoping to bring in some of the most hip and happening shows going on this television season. Alongside that, some of those actors will be here, too. We have frontline press access to the events and happenings going on, as well as we get to talk to some of those actors, so stay tuned. Your character is, like I said, a medical researcher, and you go through some PTSD. Long as crash. Research. Yes. 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 Well, yeah. I go through some PTSD. Um, not so much from the plane crash, just because our uh, time frame from when we land to when the season ends hasn't been more than a couple of weeks, so I think we're still processing. But towards the end of the season, Sanvi goes through another trauma outside of the plane that's still connected, um, which which really uh, triggers the PTSD for her. What would you say to the aspiring actresses that are out there? Because I know I read the story about when you read for this part on yeah. Manifest, the role that you read for before that, yeah. you really, really wanted. I did. And you didn't get it. You stayed in bed for two days, you know, because you were like, the world is over. <laughs> It has ended, and um, you know you had to sort of pick yourself up uh, and read for this part. Yeah. So, what would you say to some of these other actresses that are out there? Maybe they're going through some of the same situations. Um, yeah. But like, that's such a loaded. It's a great question. I, I just feel you know, it's just perseverance. That's all it boils down to. The difference between you and someone else is really just your perseverance and how much um, are you willing to take and how much how far are you willing to go for the things that you love and if it means pulling myself out of bed so I can hopefully continue to perform I mean that's it's it's hard and I know there and this applies to anyone in any field just following their passion it's perseverance and I always say you got to put on your horse blinders because there's a lot of distractions in the world and there's a lot of distractions in our personal lives but you've got to just have that end goal in mind and, and chase that goal I think and it's just hard work it is, it is and luck too so much of it is something I mean, looking manifest was so so much of it was out of my control as well. You know, it's a little bit of fairy dust, as Joe would say. But yeah, just perseverance and horse blinders and stay focused. Interviewing Manish Style from the new show on Fox called The Resident. Thank you. Thank you. And really excited to see you on TV. All right. Appreciate uh, that. So first of all, I've got to ask you, I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. I know you're born in Orangeburg, South, South Carolina. South Carolina. Yes, Southerners. That's here right. in the house yeah, in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. Of course. But you live in Los Angeles I now. Do. What is it like to be growing up in the South? And then what is, has that influenced you to be a television actor today? You know, it's influenced me in every way. I think being uh, from the South. Uh, is is limited sometimes because yeah. it, you know we're here and um, I've always love film and um, it sort of propelled me to seek something you know uh, broader in this whole business and I wanted to understand you know like you're Indian I think I yes, take it yes. so for me it was something that played a big part of my career and, and representation and, and making sure that we are represented fully and fully on screen and that was something that um, that the South. Uh, gave me that fire you know what I mean right. and, um, you know I think Devin on the show for example is a good example of that and so what you, he represents so you play a doctor yes. an Indian doctor and on truthfully, TV truthfully there are not that many Indian doctors portrayed on TV believe it or not that's why I think Devin is it might seem ordinary to many people that he is an Indian doctor on TV but it's actually um, pretty uh, unique it, it is because there's so many doctors that are in yeah. our hospitals now. We are the majority in terms of uh, medical schools and cardiac ICUs. Indians and Nigerians basically dominate both those fields, and so to have that portrayed on screen is important, and uh, we're doing it. So, I want to ask you a little bit about the fact that you're really into 
uh, promoting education. Sure. And you help out an NGO in Gujarat, and we're both Gujarati. Are you Gujarati? Yes, What's your I'm last name? Nagandi. Nagandi. But I'm a Shah. Okay. So, game show. Okay, game <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, show. Oh, my yes. So, I want to ask you about, you know, why is that important to you about education? Because being education is such a key part of being a South Asian and sure. in our culture. And so, why do you believe so much in it, and why do you help out that NGO? Yes. Yes. So, um, I did a lot of work with them uh, in the past, and I think that education has been uh, an important force in my family because my mother was a teacher, and I think that was something that education was always my mom as well. Its focus was ingrained in us, and I really think that it's uh, something that all of us should have, and it should be the right that all kids all over the world should, should have in some way. And I think the NGO is trying to bring funding into the whole areas of India, and that to me is, is extremely important because all these children are all over the world. Right, and they can be a doctor. And, and and play one on TV too, right? Sure, right, right. absolutely. We're here at SCAD TV with Malcolm Jamal Warner. He is a plastic surgeon on the new show on Fox called The Residence. So playing a surgeon is outside your comfort zone a little bit. How do you do that? What do you what do you think that well from? They should play this part. Well, you know, it's a. Uh, the part being so much out of my comfort zone is not just playing a surgeon, but playing a surgeon who has uh, such a level of arrogance that it puts people off. Right. Uh, so that's the fun part. Yeah. <laughs> is it fun? It's so much fun. Is it? Yeah, because I, I, I allow myself, I get a chance to, to play who I don't allow myself to be in real life. So it's awesome. It's so free. It's so yeah. great. <laughs> So what else is it? Like, what else do you find playing Dr. AJ? You know, what else is it besides being this arrogant guy? But he's also very smart. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, and it's quite cutting through some of those things that we don't often see on TV, right? A man of color playing a really smart yeah. surgeon on TV. Like, what, what, you know, what do you, what, what does that mean? Well, well again, well, one, it's, it, it, it's quite smart. Because yes. who's on the show, there's, uh, you know, there's myself, the cardiothoracic surgeon, there's uh, the residents who work but under me, me and the So, so you've got this, 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 this wonderful dynamic of yeah. two people uh, who are very actually smart, who command a level of, uh, of significant power. So it's fun for both of us to play, but it's also very significant to the range of roles of people of color. Um, it's a really big step. It is a really big yeah. step. Um, you know, it's a really big step, too. And I don't think, I think now is we're really coming into the age that we're understanding the important of yeah. taking this big step yeah. and letting the yeah. actors yeah. really yeah. come out of the science yeah. of the media and the and it also reflects the society in which we live in, right? Which is really, really important. Okay, I'm going to switch tracks a little bit because we only get a little bit of time to be able to go on. You've been in the industry for a long time now. When you're starting out as a kid and it's coming out now, it's a little range. You're jumping on a moving train. But everybody on that train is exactly what you do. It used to be executives that choose the actors in the show, the other actors in the show now. Now we have people coming on television that are just, you know, social employees themselves and gaining fame through social media and then gaining the show. How do you like deal through these changes? Obviously, the industry has changed so much. Yeah. Um, the, the wonderful thing about that yeah. is yeah. there are really so I grew up in a time where you had choices with NBC, ABC, CBS, and Fox. So the fact that you've got all of these outlets and you've got that cable, you've got the internet, it really Plus, uh, it really puts you in control. Uh, um, you're at a place now where you know, artists don't have to be uh, their existence you know, doesn't have to be the mind the mind mind production companies or other distributions or naturals. You're at a place where very being an independent and artist uh, you have to do in so the best hands and you're going to do this and uh, receive it kind of things it, it, it's more of it depends yeah. on the work and that's the mind like you put into yourself it's a great place to be for an artist it is a great place to be so I'll take him from all of the he's telling you we're going to put in the work and the work and create that the technology is there right we put people that do what we do on our iPhone the technology is there there's nothing that there's nothing that should stand in the way of the art I'm not
focus on their craft and keep blinders on um, for a career and not yeah. a job because it's really easy to get sidetracked in our industry, especially when people you know, people go to Hollywood and they feel like they just want to hang out in the corner restaurant and they're going to get discovered or they're going right. to go to this party. And if I can only meet this producer at this party, then they'll put me on and I'll be a star and it doesn't work like that. So as long as they focus on their craft and stay focus on you know, the, the business of show business, then I think they have a chance. Yes. Well, we thank you so thank much. You. All thank you so the much. best. Thanks. And I think it's going to be a great show. Thank you. I think you guys.